Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of March to the Eagles, the Ottoman Campaign. And we are back with this another episode of Awesomeness, where where we last left off, we had just kind of pushed the Austrians out. Uh, they're still there, but they're not as much attacking. So, you know, that's a good plus. And right now I'm going to convert, control these troops, and no, this is the Sultan's army, so the Sultan gets to lead it. Yeah, you get to be a side on. <laughs> Alright. And the, basically the last thing I was doing was moving my troops up to go, like, start a war with Persia. Because we have to conquer, like, a region in Persia. You know, for our dominance. But you know what I realized? When I was just, like, goofing around? The, uh, the Russians have it. The dang Russians already have it. So it's like, there is no point for us to go to war. And, you know... We really don't have the man. We really don't have the manpower or the like expertise to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deploy them all into Edrin to get everything back, and I'm gonna actually attack. Them. And with this army, I'm basically just gonna try to keep the Austrian army at bay. You know, I don't think I'll be able to do another like fancy attack on, like we were doing in the beginning. I think I'll just be able to like hold them off, and even that, that's gonna be a real challenge. But, you know, we'll see what happens. This campaign is probably the most interesting of my, of my other two. Because I don't know if I'm going to, if I have the skills to win this. I mean, we might stay at war for the next 20 years, and I might actually survive this. Or I might get completely destroyed, have my armies demolished in like a big, gigantic attack. I don't know. I have to make sure that doesn't happen, though, because, oh my goodness, that would be just bad. Just bad luck on my part. And it seems like nowadays I'm having a little bit more trouble with like crashes. So I can't hire it up to five for very long without it just without my game just like freaking out and just crashing the entire game and me just getting the like blue screen of death. And so if you if you're ever wondering why I don't keep it at five anymore, that's the reason. That's the reason. So right now we're just waiting for our armies to at least get the forty thousand you know, individually. That way we can divide them up and then just like deploy them right here. We have two forty thousand, two twenty thousand armies just like standing there guarding our territory. And we're waiting for these guys to come down. Just want to reiterate for the people that just joined us and skipped like the entire intro of what I just said. Um, I could go try to go invade these guys over here, but they have way better troops than me. It would not pan out very well. And revolt is possible possible and let me guess it's all in the Serbian region am I not correct yep yep all in Serbia some in Greece too but Greece I don't really care about Greece no one cares about Greece this is our, our economics here's just a map mode everyone see how you're doing and uh yeah we still don't have as good of a fort as Slevensburg which is a really by the way check out my Russian campaign here soon there should be some news about that one all right and politically Terrain, map mode, there, and there. Speaking of which, can we get... Uh, hey, I didn't know that. I didn't know we had some Albanian in here. Ah, cool. Uh, but there, that was just the map modes for anyone that was wondering about the map modes. And yes, okay, we can officially divide our army up now to cover two fronts. The split army, okay, the Sultan army will stay here. The Ottoman army... Controlled by... You can now be in charge of that. General Pashka. With a good amount of soldiers. I mean, we got a good amount of troops here. They'll be trying to... Uh, they'll be trying to uh, take over this region over here. Just to see if we can kind of spread out their front. Because every time when I take over one region, they send almost all their army to come back at me. And it would be kind of nice if we have a good, like, straight front over here. So we don't have to, like, deal with you know, massive and massive amounts of troops. Also, I should be remembering to, like, get good relationships with France. Because the French are basically my only hope of surviving. Like, if I can join these guys, oh my goodness, it would be so much helpful. Because these guys would help me out against the Austrians and help me push them back. The only problem is, is I'd be at war with Russia, but I'd have a much better ally than, I'm do than I currently have right now, which is my really stupid vassals 
who should go and destroy themselves for their inept ability at being vassals. Ugh. Anyways, I if it hasn't been blatantly clear that I just hate these two states with a burning passion, I only like them because they are used as a buffer state. They basically buffer the entire Austrian army over there where I can just like sit over here and be like, do 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 because that's all I use them for. They're just morally just a border shield. I wouldn't, if these guys were taken over and taken over and just completely taken away from my sphere by the Austrians, I would literally not care that much. They would just be there. And oh my goodness, this must be the full entire Austrian army. They're all just gathering around one place. And Isabel, dang, you have lots of troops, Isabel. Why can't you guys that, you know, I wish there was a feature where you could actually just like, you know, take all the troops in one like place and just like take them out. And, you know, like to where you can reinforce everyone. And my king of France, the herald from France, my king, France has disbanded the coalition against the great British. Worrisome. Well, that's actually very good. And yeah, you see, all right, so dang, they have lots of troops here. Alright, you know what? We can make just a tiny bit of incursion into other lands because they have most of their army over there. Uh, which means we're just going to slightly move in. We're not going to majorly move in. In fact, if I see any big army, I'm going to move, pull back my troops. But we're kind of fighting guerrilla warfare style here. Mm. And my troops over here are almost, are almost done. So we'll soon have enough, like... We'll soon have its own like army over here and we can just start picking off some of these little tiny armies. Like I'm gonna first go after there. Oh great my hell, my king! France formed a coalition against Great Britain. Did wait, did we not just get a message just a moment ago saying that they just did not? And yep, yep, they're coming as quickly as they can to come to come and regret that decision. Alright, let's get out of here. Um we gotta stay one step ahead of these guys. If they get if they get one drop on us, we're dead. Sultan, Sultan, start retreating. Start retreat. Oh my goodness, they have much more army than I expected. Start retreating, Sultan. We don't have the militaristic powers to deal with that much men. Mhm. Mm They're moving quickly towards our position. Hmm. All right. Any place that we could hold up for a little bit. Let's see. Terrain advantages. Hmm. We'd have a good advantage right about here, so let's go to Nis. Mm. Yeah, it seems like... Okay, yes, okay, you guys... You guys are under the command of General Pasha. Mehmet. Or Mehemt. Which is probably one of the best guys we have in our division. You guys... First go kick out the 5k over there. Then we'll deal with you guys over here. No, you guys keep running. Yes! Rebels! In my territory! Yeah! Kill the rebels! Okay, keep running though. We have to keep running, because they're just... They're just streamrolling everything. Alright, let's just... Let's just try to stay over here that way. Just in case that they move all the big hoarding... Hoardy men. And try to take us on. Okay, you guys are about to engage them. That should be able to take them out. Um... You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna combine these. I'm gonna like use these both these guys, and we're gonna start taking off some of these armies. You know what? We need to bring some. We need to start pushing these guys back just a little bit. I mean, right now they are they're being way too comfortable with themselves. Or I should say, they're being way too cocky for themselves. They should be moving back. I mean, I'm not that bad at strategic deployment, even though I have been pretty horrible at times. Okay, 65k is moving out of the region. Oh, yes! Oh, what? Take that. 50k in that one region. That means not many of these armies, ungrouped, can take me on. 25k coming after me right now. Let's hope my men can stand it. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! No, no, don't you dare kill more than me. Ah! Oh. Retreat. They had to bring in the rest of the men, so we had to retreat. You know what? I'm just trying to retreat. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't. Yes! Okay, we got away. We got away. We're going to have to regroup right here in Nishta. And how are we doing over here? They're completely removed out. We're going to go conquer back to the city of Galids. And they're being pushed back again! 
Woohoo! Man, there is just not a time when I just love the fact that uh, the Austrian's army is not smart enough to realize I have nothing, like, to defend myself. And, it's time to do a new technology. Um... We don't need any more diplomatic skills, we don't need monthly skills. We need something like, we don't have any artillery, so it's not really gonna help us, but... Uh, how's our economics doing? Man, I- Man, I wish there was, like, an option here, just to, like... Well, let's see, how's our economics before I decide? We're not as good as the Russians on my other campaign, so... Uh, is there any, like, option to, like... Uh... Oh, this is a manpower cost! Okay, we gotta increase this. Because our manpower cost is the main reason why we're losing. If we had our manpower up to date, we'd probably be able to, like, conquer everything back, but it's not. That's mainly the reason. And our 40k troops are coming back over here. And we're gonna, since most of the army is over here, we can just, like, once I conquer back the capital of my useless vassal, I mean, I know, and by the way, I do know they have a name, but they are so pathetic that they don't deserve a name. And so I'm just gonna move all my troops over here, and we're just gonna try to pick off as many armies as we can. I mean, we have a pretty good chance, even though the odds of us winning this are drastically low. We still have a chance. In fact, it's not... They have very many more frigates or transports than we do. But the problem is, is that... I, I don't see a use for transports if you can just land battle me. So, you know, that's kind of stupid. And... Woo! A new nation has formed down here. Is this a... Hmm. Who is this allied to? At war with France and Netherlands, truce with Chipotle is a coalition with... Russia is a satellite of Great Britain. Ah! Alright, that just gives me more reason to go to war against Great Britain. Because now I need this. I need this territory right here to like... To like, expand. <clears throat> Wait, that's dominance? Yeah, me. Yeah, you see, there. There. Yeah, I was like wondering, why is this not working? Yeah, I need this territory right here to, like, start expanding again, so. Yeah, but I already conquered all the Egyptians' land. Uh, I also need some Russian land, so, you know. It seems like I am definitely going to probably be on the French side this time. Because <laughs> the French seem to be in more in line with my goals. So then again, I'm not playing this game for, uh, for how much can I kill. I'm playing it for just how much fun it will be. Alright. And now that we have this territory, I'm going to try to keep both of my armies together, and we're both going to go try to take out some of these armies. Hopefully with the combined forces of Mekhamed, our greatest commander ever, the conqueror of Egypt, and the hero of our nation, and the sultan, the leader of our nation, we'll be able to create... No, I refuse to let you guys... You, you're there. Alright? And you... You know, we can have even more generals, like, taking over. We don't have to have the same guy. Alright. So let's go first. Let's go take back our... Let's go take back Belgorod. And are they crushing back on my useless vassals? No. They're just kind of retreating. And! Harold from... F you know what? This is basically all useless. <laughs> uh, normally I would say something really funny, but that's basically all useless information. And... Uh, Oh, units are running out of supply. All right, I'll go to Tulsa. All right, and now we have a good defensive system here. In fact, you know, I have, I'm so gutsy, I'm going to actually go into the land. What? All right, and I'll move some more men in over here. Mm-hmm. And look, they're coming back to go conquer my useless vassals. And what's the war score? 13. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. This... War is pointless, Austria. Give up. I'm not gonna... Uh, like, can I just, like, demand tribute? Or oh, you can demand tribute? Can you get that? No, they will not give up. Why? You guys won. What is that in... What is... What? Uh, still, I think the AI is broken in this. Still, I think the AI is broken in this. I mean, at this point, I would be... I don't know. At this point, they basically have all Washington up. And they should be giving up by now, but no. They still continue. And, you know what? 
Now find find me. I'll try to make some incursions into your land. Cause now I don't know. I don't know guys. If if you guys know any way of like this ending right now, that'd be you know, just te tell me in the comments or something because I mean this war is basically a stalemate. I'm not gonna give up, they're not gonna give up. This is basically gonna end in one of us just like you know what, just say siege down the town. I know that's a stupid decision. Don't don't even say it's not. It's a stupid decision, but I just want to kill off. Yep. Ha ha ha. And you guys should instantly also succeed because... Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. How? Ooh. Yeah. That did not succeed. That. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's make another incursion right here. And the war score should be turning. Yep. The war score is turning slightly in our favor. Because I'm making like little hints right here. I'm just like taking over a little tiny- Ooh. Yeah, maybe... Our Sultan does not seem like he's a good leader. Uh... You know, I'll keep him in the background, but I think I will actually make Harshka our uh, main general. Mustafa, you'll go right here. Uh, Sultan, go back into mainland. Uh, yeah, that... That was just a slaughter. <laughs> that was just an all-out slaughter. Um, you guys, I guess, go try. Yes, here they come. Here comes that massive wave of men. Here comes, like, the first wave of, like, uh, men to try to go retake their land. Hmm. Are you guys gonna do it? No, I didn't think so. Alright, I'm giving a good front. I just don't know how much I can actually hold this, but... We have our two armies right here guarding this position to make sure we have our backs covered. Uh, we have little tiny armies right over there. Uh, they seem to be not attacking over here. They seem to be sending most of the armies to come attack us. And they're moving down. Hmm. I'll make one minor incursion right over here. Slowly moving in. Not, if, not largely moving in. Alright, seems like they're not concentrating on my town very much. So move in one more time, move these guys right over here, and then from here, I think we'll start picking off some of these armies. Because right now they have all their army over here. If we can get this army in, we can win this. Alright, you guys move right here, you guys move right here. We're going to quickly do some some attacking. Alright, they're not even trying to, trying to move, and I'm sorry, but that's just a stupid decision. Alright, 75k versus that much. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Alright, victory. Mass tactics. All right. Next move right here. Next move right. Oh no 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 no. We treat. We treat. Whew. Whew. Okay, move right here. We're gonna start. Oh wait, no no. Okay, move right here. Haha. Uh -huh. Try doubting that. I. Uh, come on. Dang it. All right. Whew. All right. And it seems like they're actually pushing back. <laughs> well, it seems like the Austrians finally know who they're making with they have two they have the maximum amount of army I have in one place and you know what just for the just for kicks I'm gonna go take this last little bit right here push him out completely come on 70k versus that many should not yeah this should always oh, shoot I'm losing a lot of men I am losing a ton of men but it doesn't even matter because we won anyways with 6,000 losses on their side so many losses and trencher and finally a good little victory thing what we pushed them back and now the war score is only negative seven we are starting to win this war again the Sultan is coming back I mean now the armies are on the run we can now we can now start a little bit of invasion into the land which is by far an enjoyable sight. So, for next time, people, look forward to the actual incursion into the Austrian lands. We now have the armies not better than beaten, but at least out of the way. Because now we can finally just move in. So, for next time, people, I'll see you later. Don't forget to support Sultan by commenting, rating, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.